this is for sure the best place I've ever been. It's completely different from everything I know. When I came here and I was surrounded by this landscape, it, it's been unbelievable really. Such a magic place. Not a lot of places are as beautiful as this one. I have never seen something like that. The color was so powerful. The water was so flat and clean. Amazing, fantastic. Probably the best place I've ever seen in the world. Amazing. We are here in Aitutaki, a little island in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. I really like the vibes of Aitutaki. I really enjoy this place. Everyone is always happy. The people when see you smile and you know, just say hello. <laughs> this year I'm back in Atataki. Uh, it's been an awesome trip. Um, got a lot of good conditions. We had two really good days. Uh, pumped out a lot of action, and uh, this place is insane. Like every island's different, you know. One foot. Uh, we had a really fun little session in there between the two islands. Um, the wind was actually funneling a bit and uh, updrafting by the bush and just had some yeah, fun jumping over the bush and playing there and it, it was just sick. I mean, looking around and it was something different to look at every angle and it was, it was crazy. In one foot there was three different watercolours. Yeah, incredible.
Yeah, I've traveled the world since 1998 with kiteboarding, basically traveling the world to, to search for the ultimate kiting destinations. All I can say is it's, it's amazing. I really didn't know what to expect. Uh, I've been to Western Samoa. I live in Hawaii, and um, this being like a big, big atoll in the middle of nowhere, it's it's really laid back. People are super cool. Uh, everyone's always smiling. Having a host like Quentin that knows the island inside and out, he just really, really makes your experience of Atatuki just unforgettable. It's like every day you find something that betters the previous day and you, you think it can't get any better, but it does. You have whale watching where you can actually go swim with the whales. Then you also can swim with like massive GT fish that basically take the food out of your hand, you're surrounded by them. You know, you got so many other things that you can possibly do here, you'll, you'll never get bored. <laughs> Every time we had the chance, Alex was just climbing uh, coconut trees and take as much coconut as he can and then Mark open it and then I drink it and I eat it. <laughs> this was my job in the team, just eating, drinking and you know directing the guys. <laughs> it's been so nice. It's gonna be hard to come back home and don't eat any more coconuts like this. <laughs>